Let's take a look at the local directory deployment option in Simply Static. Go to Simply Static Settings, Deploy, and within the deployment settings, switch to Local Directory. There are two settings here. One is the path where we should export the static files to. Make sure that this path does exist and is writable. If not, we will show an error in the di diagnostics tool to let you know that the directory needs to be created or the file permissions need to be changed. To make it easier for you to configure the path, we have a button called Copy Home Path. It will give you the root path to your directory where WordPress is installed. You can also enable the option Clear Local Directory this way, we will automatically delete all the files before exporting new ones to the desired directory. Once configured, click Save Settings. You can now run an export to a local directory. One thing I like to mention here is our test deployment option. This feature is implemented for all the deployment integrations and basically performs an export of your home page with the configured deployment options. This is a quick way to test a new connection without having to wait to export your entire static website. Let's switch back to activity log and generate a new export. The export is finished now and all your files got transferred to the configured subdirectory.